Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today and in today's video we are talking about the stock market crash and two things to do when the market is acting crazy like this because everyone is scrambling for the hills and some people are staying patient everyone is doing different things let's talk about it meet kevin we saw what meet kevin just did he just sold a bunch of his stocks and then he just randomly bought right back in again so you just see the different strategies that people are using some people are actually buying more stocks during this time which i think is the more sane thing to do but it all depends on you how do you think about the market how do you think about long-term investment where are you in that retirement kind of age or that retirement type of range and just thinking about the market and thinking about the long term so we're going to break it down in this video this article displays everything i'm thinking perfectly before we do guys like this video subscribe to my channel i'm always providing you guys with so much new content man so like this video subscribe to this channel click that subscribe button right now so the two things to do when the stock market gets crazy Turbulent times can cause investors to make decisions that they later regret. Here's how to stay afloat in these choppy waters without sinking your future. So, definitely people are just acting crazy like I just said, and people don't know what to do. How much worse can it get? For more than a year, it seemed like the stock market could only go up, buoyed by the river of money that gushed from the government. In the past week, that illusion has been shattered. Man, people were so hopeful that... The market was just going to continue on this crazy spree, but we all know that's super unrealistic. And when you think about it, a lot of new people just got into the market, into investing, so they think that, oh, you're always going to have these 20% up years, like the S&P getting 20% plus, but that's not how the market works. On the Monday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average moved 100 points in a single day. Twice, it sank more than 3%, then roared back in the close with a gain. Stocks gyrated the rest of the week with the s S&P 500 down more than 9% so far in 2022, and the Nasdaq 100 index off more than 14%. People are saying this is actually one of the worst, if not the worst, January in stock market history, which is pretty crazy. In a speech in 1963, the great investment analyst Benjamin Graham said, In nearly 50 years of experience in Wall Street, I have found that I know less and less about what the stock market is going to do, but I know more and more about what investors ought to do. And this is such a key little paragraph. We do not know what the stock market is going to do. It can go up or down in a year or wherever it's going to go. It can drop 10%, 20%, can go up 10 or 20%. But he knows what the market participants are going to do. When the market goes down, they're going to be super fearful. And when the market goes up, they're going to be extremely greedy. So you can use that as an advantage, especially if you were a long-term investor. You ought to do two things. The first, put the market's recent fluctuations in a long-term perspective. Think about the long-term. In five years, will you remember what's going on now? I highly doubt it. Then, recognize what kind of an investor you are it matters more than which investments you own. Predict, tell me, what type of investor are you? Are you a trader? You're looking for the short-term gains. You're not really thinking about the long-term aspect of your stocks. If you are that, you have to put yourself in that type of box. If Don't just say you're a long-term investor and not adhere to long-term investor traits of thinking 5 to 10 years out. Because when the market goes down, it's going to test your conviction on your stocks that you hold. Do you truly have conviction in the stocks that you hold? Because when the market goes down 10 20%, it's going to test your whole investment thesis or whole investment perspective on, am I really a long-term investor? It's really going to test it. August 2011, the stock market declined. 2015, it declined. 2016, it dropped 10%. 2018, it dropped another 9%. 2020, it dropped another 34%. 34%. So these declines happen all the time. And when you really think about it, if you're a long-term investor, you don't even think about what happened four or five years ago. You just understand that over a long period of time, the market usually goes up or goes in that upwards direction if you hold these amazing stocks. Investors are exceptionally adept at retroactively revising their memories. No one likes to admit fear or feel foolish or incompetent. So we polish our own past. What was terrifying then becomes not so bad now. So we look at the past and be like, oh, we weren't that crazy. We weren't that afraid because we try to readjust the times to fit our narrative. That's why it's so important to understand who you are as an investor. What type of investor are you? 
are you willing you gotta make sure that you the money that you have in the market you don't need five to ten years you don't you don't need it right now like the money that you have in the market you have to tell yourself i'm not touching this money man i don't need it for everyday purchases or paying rent you have to come into that mindset of knowing this money in the market is going to be in here for five to ten years so you don't get terrified when these drops happen that's super key to understand as an investor Falling markets set up the battle between your present self and your future self. In 2022, your present self may be suffering anxiety and stress. That's your present self right now. Everyone is stressed out. Everyone has anxiety about their stocks that they own because they're down 40-50%. As you watch gains dissipate, will you lose even more in the days and weeks to come as stocks keep lurching up and down? Our distant future selves feel like different people from who we are now. Behavioral scientists at University of California who studies how time affects people's decisions, it can become especially difficult to keep those distant selves in mind when there's so many emotions in the present, in the form of temptation or fear. So we are dealing with so much anxiety and stress right now, it's super hard to keep that long-term focus. So that's how you have to have that long-term focus, understand who you are as an investor, because now you're going to be having so much anxiety and stress, you're going to be emotional, and you're going to sell off your positions. Now imagine your future self is looking back at you from 2032 or 2042. Would you remember the fear you felt in January 2022? That's a really good question. Ask yourself that question. Will you remember all this fear in the market now? I highly doubt it. When you buy or sell stocks based on short-term market turmoil, the person you are trading with is future self. Remember, in every trade, there has to be a winner and has to be a loser. So who's getting the better deal? If you have decades more of investing ahead of you, then your future self is likely to be annoyed or could be materially impaired by your rash moves made now. So your future self is going to be killing you for all the dumb decisions you made today for not holding on to your winners or holding on to the stocks that you truly love and you actually enjoy holding on as you see yourself as a business partner so guys please like this video subscribe to my channel and i get back to you in the next video peace